all right guys uh we are now at the gombak rest area and we are actually at the bottom of the hill what we're going to do is we are going to do a fuel consumption test from here all the way to united star corporation where we're going to return the car and we're just starting off i have put the car into eco mode and we're driving it like normal okay a little bit light on the throttle but i'm just easy on the throttle yeah and so you can see the latest uh, i've set the reading to show kilometers per liter and because we started off on a heavy load it showed 2.9 kilometers per liter okay because when we started the car it needed some fuel and then when we are taking off it also takes some fuel but now it's starting to climb up yeah because we are now going at a higher speed and the engine rpm is low so this is how eight speeds can help you with uh, fuel consumption and also because there are eight speeds the tcu which is the transmission computer can uh, shift up much earlier because there are so many speeds because the next the next gear is very close so it is what you call having close ratio gearbox okay we are going to go through the smart tech lane slow down so that will take a bit of fuel consumption but this is in the normal uh, cycle of things that you do so now we have uh, 9.3 kilometers per liter so it's going to be a journey back to Pataling Jaya through city traffic uh, we're gonna use the ring road uh, but this is a more down-to-earth type of fuel consumption and we are driving at normal speeds yeah right now we are about 80 85 kilometers per hour and I'm in D and I'm traveling at about 1400 rpm so with 8-speed gearbox your engine is actually just ticking over as you are uh, driving so in eco mode the gearbox will try to get you into the highest gear possible and uh, so we are probably running at a very high gear now maybe seven maybe six I don't know because uh, it doesn't tell you it just automatically sets it for you and we're going at 80 90 88 kilometers per hour taking some cars here and we have to start keeping left after this answer because we are going to take the Duke Highway so we're driving in traffic and so far we have got oh 12.1 kilometers per liter that's about 8.4 liters per hundred kilometers something somewhere around there my math isn't that good oh it's gone to 12.3 so guys this car is potentially very economical uh, why because it has two fuel injection systems one is a uh, port injection one is direct injection so depending on which one gives it better uh, power or better efficiency it will switch between the two and uh, also um, it has a uh, 13.0 is to 1 uh, compression ratio so this is very high compression engine and they have technology to prevent the knocking so this is a very very advanced engine and in fact uh, Toyota calls it dynamic force engine and uh, it's not a turbo but uh, it gives you decent power 
and it also gives you high thermal efficiency thermal efficiency basically tells says how much of a fuel uh, in terms of percentage this engine can convert into energy and uh, this is a record breaking 40 percent uh, thermal efficiency engine so this is one of the most efficient engines in the world if not the most yeah so much uh, praise should be given to Toyota for developing this engine and uh, for those of you who know engines this is the engine that they couldn't get to put into the Camry uh, because they just couldn't make enough of them so our Camry at the moment uh, in Malaysia has a slightly lower spec engine uh, less horsepower yeah and of course it doesn't have the same type of thermal efficiency but uh, I'm sure in time to come the Camry lovers will be able to get this same engine into the Camrys yeah so uh, they, there is a 2.0 uh, liter version but this is the 2.5 liter yeah and uh, you might want to guess yes this is the same engine or maybe a variety of it that is found in the Lexus ES yep so now being a CBU this machine sells for 215,000 ringgit and uh, well it's quite a mouthful or quite an amount to bear uh, for a lot of people but uh, if you look at it from a take a step back yeah you look at it you find that the well a Mercedes A200 which is also a CBU uh, with a 1.4 liter engine and just a torsion beam at the back yeah uh, very simple machine cost 219,000 on and but that's what that's what we see on the price list lah. okay there's 219,000 versus this much bigger uh, machine that can seat more and it's got a lot of features yeah the full complement of Toyota safety sense which has your pre collision system your lane departure alert also the lane tracing assist that actually can help you to stay in the middle of the lane and of course it also has your AEB which is the uh, autonomous braking yeah so and and on top of that it also has auto dimming uh, which I have not tested but and but it's there and of course it's got all the other stuff hill assist control uh, hill start assist control uh, your ABS your EBD name it you know it's all there plus also it has blind spot monitoring so in terms of features this car has a lot going for it uh, including of course a very very advanced 8-speed gearbox yeah uh, no rubber bands for this one and uh, so it's a very very good package but anyway what's the fuel consumption guys a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated vehicle with 207 PS of power is giving you in this type of traffic that we're traveling you can see we are getting 15 kilometers per liter isn't that wonderful and I can tell you, most of you will be driving at this speed. We are going at 80 in the 90 zone. And we are following the traffic. And it says 15.1. How is that? Okay, let's see what we can get when we get back to PJ in this traffic. It now is 15.3. So stay with us. Of course, if you get stuck in a traffic jam uh, and you are one hour in it, not moving, and you use up one liter, then uh, or maybe you move ten feet, then it's like one liter for every ten feet, yeah, uh, for that period of time. So, uh, fuel consumption is always amount of fuel you use over a distance.
and yeah it's very hard to say what is the fuel consumption uh, when you are in a traffic jam but uh, for normal uh, circumstances you have to well this is what you would get if you lived in say uh, Gombak and you're going to PJ to work at 8 11 in the morning on a Monday okay so we are going through the same traffic that everybody is going through hit 250 of toll and we are accelerating at the same rate that everybody is accelerating yeah this is very very normal driving sorry okay pick your lane so we've picked the middle lane and the consumption dropped a bit to 15 okay so guys this is just a, a very short stint uh, your overall consumption over a longer period of time may vary yeah because it depends on how long you stop to tap out your fried kwetiau for your girlfriend or your wife things like that you know and how long you stop the your raffle while enjoying the aircon and waiting to pick up your kids from school yeah or you are having a chit chat with your girlfriend and you want to spend a bit more time with her before send her back sending her back to work so if you spend a lot of time idling with your aircon on then of course your average fuel consumption will be affected but now we are driving at 70 in uh, city traffic and we are heading towards BJ so guys keep an eye on the traffic and you will see what type of traffic conditions we are facing then you will know how true this fuel consumption is and what is the true potential let me tell you uh, I did a bit of testing just now before we started this test and I had numbers like 21 22 yeah so this car has that potential but I'm not going to tell you how much it is you can see it for yourself all this talking makes me thirsty okay guys we are taking the turn off to Petaling Jaya so I'm just following the traffic in fact I'm going faster than the traffic I'm overtaking cars accelerate a bit to get in front of this Fortuner and then I can get into the line yes Sorry, I got no time to look at the fuel consumption because there's motorbikes. So we're just following the flow. It drops to 14.9, 14.7 as we're climbing up a slope. Now, this is the average fuel consumption uh, from Gombak to here, yeah. Okay, the time is 8.17 We started from the Gombak rest area And our fuel consumption right now is 15.3 kilometers per liter Which is un a bit around 6 liters 6 point something liters per 100 kilometers and we're actually overtaking cars, we're going slow We're going at 80 kilometers per hour right now Can you see the meter? <laughs> well, you have to take my word for it. Oh, we're 90. 
just ran up by itself. So I'm just taking a relaxed drive and I'm happy to note the fuel consumption now is 15.7 but we are coming up to some traffic jam so it will go down. Okay guys we saw 15.8 now and we're getting into the traffic. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go down. I don't know how much it's gonna go down. Sorry, if you see me yawn, it's because I'm not used to driving slow. And I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Just so that we can do this video for you guys. Just check the camera. Yes, it's still recording. Thank you. 15.8, it dropped a little bit. So we are near the one Utama area. There are some complaints about this hit unit, but well, it looks alright to me. Lah. To me, there's more things to a car rather than the hit unit. Or how it looks yeah as long as it looks decent it's fine it, it's about this car is about the technology you are being a part of the future of Toyota yeah where you are getting can you imagine 2.5 liters now the you're getting 15.5 kilometers per liter and we stop at the traffic light you know so potentially this car is very economical and uh, you will be leaving a smaller carbon footprint. So that's technology for you, yeah? Uh, having an 8-speed gearbox. You pay 300000 for a BMW but you won't pay 215000 for a Toyota. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you're looking for a SUV uh, and you want the technology that goes with it and you want the safety features to go with it I think this is one of the best packages you can have okay you will go and pay 250,000 260,000 for a reconditioned Alpha that has nothing much okay but you won't pay 215000 for a car that has got the full Toyota safety sense here plus a 8 speed gearbox plus a dynamic force engine that has power and economy and 40% thermal efficiency so we have 15.3 And we're going to be stuck at another two traffic lights or so before we get back so let's see what we get when we get back yeah here we go all right guys we are back at the uh, united star corporation thank you very much uh final fuel consumption is 13.7 13.6 kilometers per liter thanks for being with us and till we meet again guys bye bye